Hello, this is Freight Train 54, and today I'm going to show you the tabernacle. Here it is from the outside. Got fence posts going all around, and uh, supposed to be lambskin on the inside. And sheep's wool, close enough, close enough for my purposes. So let's go inside the courtyard. Right here is the courtyard, and uh, that is the brazen altar where you're going to sacrifice for the sins of all of Israel. So, uh, there's a bull over here, and I'm going to go get him to sacrifice. Come, we will sacrifice you to the Lord! Come on! Lead you to your death. Yes. Up here? Come on. Oh, I need to feed you first. Yes. Make you happy and fat before I kill you. And sins atoned. We have atoned the sins of all of Israel. Right here is the brazen labor. It's uh, a lot bigger than it really be. I mean, you're only supposed to wash your hands, but I'm going to wash my whole body. So this is what I had to do in Minecraft. There we go. Uh, this is the actual tabernacle building. would be made out of Achaia wood. Let's go check out inside. Close the door behind us. This is the menorah. Or the seven lamp stands. Made out of golden torches. That's what I had to work with. And over here we have a table of shoe bread. Um, well... There's bread in each one, but there's only three. There's supposed to be 12. I just couldn't fit 12 because it would, wouldn't would fit in here. So we're going to uh, deal with three. So there's three. And this is uh, where the priest would sacrifice for his own sin and for special sins and stuff like that. So we're going to sacrifice the sheep. Holy sheep without blemish. Come on. Get up, you know, we'll kill you right here. Die. Come back. This would be much easier. It would have meat hooks to hook it down to the altar. And then in here, we have the Holy of Holies, where only the priest can go once a year. Uh, well, well, one day a year. Could have been three times on that day. We don't know. But we know he at least had to, probably had to go in there at least three times on that day. And this is the Ark of the Covenant. Um, probably not what it actually looked like at all, but this is what I had to work with. And probably doesn't look like it would in Indiana Jones either. And there's the handles. The handles turn on what are supposed to represent the cherubim or seraphim, whichever it is, um, which are represented by these torches. And then uh, you bring your sacrifice in here. Smoke goes up. You know, smoke is to cover the glory of God. And back here inside the Ark of the Covenant, you have um, the Ten Commandments represented by this sign. And then the rod, Aaron's staff with uh, flowers on it and buds and acorns and nuts and stuff. That's really cool. So that's where the uh, presence of God sits right there in the mercy seat. Anybody else comes back here besides the priest, you die. So let's take a look at it one more time from the outside. Close. Like I said, this would be uh, a lot bigger. The courtyard, at least, would be a lot bigger. But this is what I had for all intents and purposes. So here we are. And that is the tabernacle. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something today. Um, refer, refer to the uh, Old Testament in the Torah or the Pentateuch for uh, how I got instructions on how to build this. I did it all by myself. Didn't need a bunch of Israelites to help me. But I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, I hope you learned something today. And thank you so much. Like and subscribe.